Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting the Windows Media Player error that says that it cannot rip one or more of the tracks from the CD. So if for some reason you're getting this error message, this tutorial will be for you. So first thing is first, we're going to go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in Windows Media Player and just want to open that up from the start menu search results if you have a icon down in your taskbar you're more welcome to open it up that way as well and now you want to go up near the top bar of the windows media player right underneath the top top bar but where the other tabs to say play burn sync and whatnot are right click inside of a blank area in here and then you want to left click on tools and then left click on options now once you're in options here, left click on the devices tab. Give it a moment here to search for devices. So if you see a DVD drive, you want to left click on properties once you've selected that. You want to make sure both playback and rip are both digital and you also want to check mark in here where it says use error correction. Left click on apply and OK to save the change. Once you're done with that, hopefully that has resolved your problem. So once you're done, if you're still having problems and if your quality is not too good on your CD or DVD, another thing we could try would be, again, to go back in, right click on the top bar, or underneath the top bar, I should say, left click on tools, and then left click on options once more. Now you're going to left click on the rip music tab. And now you want to go ahead and select underneath audio quality. You want to scroll this to the best quality slider all the way over here to the far right and left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that hopefully that has resolved the issue as well. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.